Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 9:10. Atlanta dancer and choreographer Jonathan Bryan has worked with stars like Neo and Queen Latifah, just to name a few. And now he's making his acting debut in the new series American Soul. That's about the creation of the dance show Soul Train. Jonathan joins me now to talk about his role as one of Gladys Knight's pips on yes. the show. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. Glad me you're here. here. I am. That is like the coolest sweater. Thank We've you. All been <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love your style. Thank you. So let's start by talking about your role in American Soul. Your Bubba Knight. Yes. Yeah. Walk us through it. So yes, I play Bubba Knight, who was one of the pips in the iconic group Gladys Knight and the Pips. Um, I, getting the opportunity to portray such an iconic group was a blessing. Nothing I was expecting at all. Um, it kind of came out of left field, but I've been blessed with the opportunity to get to act on this show that just tells the story of such a, a great show and a, a, a moment in, in black history and American history. So yeah. I've been, I feel really blessed and grateful for all these I mean, it's iconic, right? Yes, It's iconic. absolutely iconic. And we were talking during the break, I asked him, is it hard to portray someone who was real? I mean, this is not a, a made up role. You're no. playing someone who <laughs> did it, you know? Yeah, so what I did was just, I looked at um, their old performances that they had on Soul Train and just kind of looked at like how Bubba moved and, um, Interpret that in my in my way, still being me, but you know, emphasizing Bubba Knight. Mm -hmm. And this is where that dance background really yeah, it came helps. into play. It yeah? helps. It helps. It, it made learning out. the steps a lot easier. For sure. And we're <laughs> going to talk in a second about how you made the transition from dancing into acting too. But I want to know what was it like to work with Kelly Rowland on the show? When I say she's one of the sweetest people I've ever met, and she's goofy just like me, so <laughs> we were cracking up on set all of the time. Um, actually. One of the scenes that we shot was my 30th birthday. Really? So yeah, so she kind of did a little, little, a little dance for me while we for my birthday that day. That was so, sweet. Yeah, it was sweet. That was sweet. Now, how was she at playing Gladys Knight? <laughs> oh, she was amazing. Yeah. I thought, I thought that was the perfect role for her. When I, when I found out that I booked the role and then found out that she was, I was playing her brother, I was like, wow. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's impressive. It is. What a cool opportunity for you. So we've mentioned this, you're a choreographer, you dance, you have all that, that, that background, mm -hmm. the skills behind you. How did you go from that to wanting to be an actor? Um, I think I've, I've, acting's kind of always been in my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. um, I like to consider myself a triple threat because outside of TV and film, I do musical theater as well. Nice. So within that, you kind of have to know how to do all three. Yeah, you've done lots of local productions mm -hmm. too. Yeah, yeah lots of good um, stuff. I work a lot in the uh, in the regional theater here, mm -hmm. um, and it's just I'm grateful to be able to do both in TV and film and musical theater because a lot of people don't or you know aren't capable of so i'm i'm grateful for the talent yeah. that god has blessed me with talented guy thank yeah, you yeah you really are very talented so you've been here in atlanta and you've been getting obviously getting work so what is the atlanta scene like i mean it seems like it's there's a lot happening i mean it's grown tremendously i've been dancing for well performing as an artist for like over 10 years and I mean, it's grown, especially in TV and film, I think, and it's giving so many n new and up-and-coming performers and dancers opportunities to, you know, get their feet out there and get the chance to be on television and film, because, you know, mm -hmm. who doesn't want to be on TV? <laughs> 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 We're just about out of time, but I want you to share your advice, because it's been, you know, you making the transition, continuing to, to grow as an artist. What would you tell young performers that want to do what you're doing? I would say work hard. Um, stay true to yourself um, as an artist and a performer and just go get them. Yeah, don't be afraid to, right? No, not at all. Yeah, making it happen. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, yeah, happy for you and thank all these you. big opportunities thank you, thank too. You. Love his style. Best style. <laughs> American Soul airs Tuesday nights at 9 on BET. And for more on Jonathan Bryan, go to fox5atlanta.com and click on the Good Day tab. All right, it's 914. Now let's check back in with Fox 5 Storm Team Meteorologist Joanne Feldman.